Regional Cybersecurity Training Center opens in Singapore. A new Regional Cybersecurity Training Center opened earlier this month in Singapore. It will see Asian member states work together to conduct research, share knowledge and train to respond to cyber threats. Located in the city centre, the Asian Singapore Cybersecurity Centre of Excellence ASCCE has two training labs and other conference rooms and amenities to facilitate capacity building efforts. Fats gives Revel a taste of their own medicine. According to a report by Reuters, the American government has successfully infiltrated the hacking group Revel. The entity behind ransomware attacks, Revel's been linked to Apple leaks, attacks on enterprise software vendors, and more. The group's dark web blog, which exposed information that was gathered from the target, is also reportedly offline. It was believed the blog was hacked due to a forum post made by one of the group's suspected leaders stating that its server was compromised and people were looking for him. Hackers force UK Tesco to go offline United Kingdom's chain of Tesco supermarkets was forced to go offline on Saturday as their website and application were hacked by cyber criminals. It was estimated that the closure had cost £20 million a day in lost revenue for Tesco. The online shopping service was not restored until late on 24th October. Although details of the source of the problem have yet to be disclosed, it is confirmed by a spokesperson from Tesco that the outage was not caused by a ransomware attack. LGMS plans ace market flotation. The Edge reported independent professional cybersecurity services provider LGMS Berhad is seeking a listing on the ACE market to raise funds for its business expansion and working capital. According to its draft initial public offering prospectus posted on the Securities Commission Malaysia's website, 91.39 million new shares will be issued under the public issue. Through its subsidiaries and associate company, LGMS is involved in cybersecurity assessment, penetration testing, cyber risk management and compliance, amongst others. Vietnam launches bug bounty program. The Ministry of Information and Communications of Vietnam has rolled out a bug bounty program to detect security holes and vulnerabilities on national digital platforms. Under the annual Bug Bounty Program, the Ministry will announce a list of top 50 experts who have made significant contributions to the detection of security holes on the Vietnam Information Security Day, which is held in November. The top three cybersecurity experts will receive awards and certificates of merit from the Ministry. Tougher Punishment for Cyber Bullies Japan's Justice Ministry sent a plan to introduce prison term of up to one year and raise the fine up to 300,000 yen as part of the tougher penalties for online insults in Japan. The plan was approved by an advisory panel amidst a growing need to tackle cyberbullying. Recent high-profile cases such as the death of Hani Kimura, the wrestler who committed suicide due to the online abuse, raises concern whether the current punishment is enough. The current penalty against insult is detention for less than 30 days or a fine of less than 10,000 yen. To find out more news on cybersecurity, you can log on to our screen.